everyone, welcome back to Wix Fix. I hope you're having a fantastic day. My name is Ryan and in today's episode of Wix Principles, I'm gonna be teaching you how to create a color palette for your website or even your brand. A lot of websites that I've seen that are made on Wix either have black and white with one accent color, which if done right can look really well, or they have a bunch of different colors that don't really match or don't really make a really cohesive website. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you what I use to create color palettes for my websites. Let's go ahead and get started. So for today's video, I just created a very, very simple website here, but as you can see, we have the basic default colors and the default fonts, but we'll do fonts in another video. But we can see here that we have a bunch of mismatched colors and we're just using black and white for the most part. But in today's video, I'm hoping to kind of change this to make it look really cool, make everything feel really connected. So what we're gonna be using today is a tool called Colors. Now they do have a paid plan, but you don't really have to join that to really use it. There are two things that I really like about this and one of them is an image picker. So you can literally upload your own image to your website so you can either, if you already have a logo with some colors in it, you can upload your logo and kind of get a color palette from that. Or if you have an image that you know you're gonna have on your website, let's use this for example, then we can even upload that here as well to get the same effect. So I'm just gonna go ahead and upload the image. So I'm just gonna upload the image that we're planning to use on our website. And you can see it's already kind of created a color palette for us. And we can just kind of scroll through this until we find one that we like, and maybe we want to use that. And then if we want to, we could obviously export the palette in several different ways to use on our website. Another thing about this website that I like is we can explore palettes. Now here, we can basically view a bunch of palettes that are already designed by other people. And you can see there are like thousands of different options to choose from. But let's say our brand, like let's say Wix Fix is orange. So we, we can choose orange and we can see a bunch of color palettes with just orange in here. And maybe we can just look through here and try to find one that we really like. Now, typically what I look for in something like this is something with a dark color like this, a nice accent color, and then maybe one more color that's a little bit lighter than this. If I can't find one with like an off white color in this palette, then I can just choose this palette and maybe adjust this one just a little bit. But again, we can just continue scrolling down and we can find hundreds if not thousands of really good options here. But let's go ahead and choose this one right here. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and grab this, this number right here. And you can see I just clicked on it and it copied it to my clipboard. Then we can come over here and we can come over to our site design, press customize, then go to our colors and we can easily just change this one out right here. So maybe instead of straight black, we'll want something, we'll want something like this. And so it's just a little off black and a little, a little bit in the orange tint, as you can see, it's not all the way down at the very bottom, straight black. So I think that looks really nice. Then we can come over here. Maybe we want to use, um, we'll use this color as our main accent color. So instead of this blue, we're gonna go ahead and replace this just like that. And I think that looks really good. And last but not least, maybe we can do something like we'll paste in this code again and get like a really nice light color like that. We'll just manually move the little color picker over here and press apply. So now we have this nice shade right here. So as you can see from the website design, we have already started changing the color of our elements here on the page. But there are kind of two things that we can do to make this look really nice. For example, if we come over to site design, we can change the background color to this light orange here and we can make it look like this, which looks pretty good. Or we can even flip it around and make it this dark orange, this very, very dark orange. And then we can come in here to these text elements. And maybe this one can be this bright orange. Then this text right here could be this light orange like that. And we can create something that looks like this. I think that looks pretty cool. So let's go ahead and apply that to the rest of our site. So 
So with this repeater, the border, we want to make sure that it is this color right here. Let's just go ahead and make all of these icons the same color just to make it more consistent. Then we can grab these text elements here and maybe this one can be the orange again. And this text down here can of course be this light color like that. And last but not least, we can go ahead and change these paragraphs to these really light colors. So as you can see, we're kind of using like a dark, a really dark orange. Now, I don't know how well this is showing up in the recording, but it does look really, really clean. And even if we went with the lighter option where the background was white and the text was black, you know, we are still giving it that customized feeling rather than just using straight black and white, making it look very template-y and basic. To kind of sum up this video, what I would do is come to a website similar to this. There are hundreds of websites that have different color palettes on it. And if you have Adobe, there's actually an option for that as well. And even if you choose a palette like this, you don't even have to use all of the colors inside of it. You can just choose the colors that kind of speak to you and your brand. And if you don't want to choose a random palette, like I mentioned earlier, you can always come over to Image Picker, upload your logo or upload an image that you really like that you think has some nice colors in it and kind of play around to find the perfect palette for yourself. Then once you have that palette, you can come over to your site design and customize the colors in here to kind of match the palette that you chose. And then you can start applying those colors to your website. Like I said during the video, I do like to make the background either a really dark version of the color or a light version of the color because I don't typically want my websites to be straight black and white because there's a lot of websites already like that. And I think having these colors kind of implemented into your design a little bit more can help you stand apart from your competition. But that's basically gonna wrap it up for today's video. If you all did enjoy, please consider giving this video a like and consider subscribing for more Wix and EditorX content coming out really soon. Thank you all again, and I'll see you all in the next one.